Hey guys, I'm currently on this beautiful beach in Bali. I'm flying back to China tonight and I think my body's about to go through quite a shock because while it's currently 35 degrees here, uh, when I go back to China it's going to be significantly, significantly colder than that. So I've just arrived in the city of Shenyang and it is a balmy minus 12 degrees. That's like a 50 degree temperature change between here and Bali. Since my suitcase here is mostly full of sun hats and bikinis, I think my first stop in Shenyang is going to have to be shopping for a slightly different climate. Shenyang is very cold, so you need to wear a coat. For example, you need to wear a coat. And the clothes are cold, or a coat. And you need to wear a coat with a coat. And you need to wear a coat with a coat. And you need to wear a coat with a coat. 然后穿比较厚的羽绒服。咱们正常的话，在沈阳呢，都得穿一下这种羽绒服。羽绒。因为沈阳的天气都是在零下二十度左右。对，这种羽绒服相对来讲会比较保暖一些。I feel like this should keep me warm. Maybe I should ask someone. 你好，问一下，你觉得这个够了吗？这个，这个不会冷吗？你你确定吗？应该不会了。好，好，谢谢。Okay, let's get it. Okay, outfit update. Bought myself some gloves, beanie, down jacket. Under the down jacket, we have a woolen sweater. Underneath that, a t-shirt. Underneath that, thermal underwear. I've got my thick Timberland boots here with two layers of socks. Stumpling socks. <laughs> okay, so now I'm laid up like an onion. Time to explore Shenyang. So I'm here in the city of Shenyang and it's a city with a hell of a lot of history. 2,000 years of history to be exact. Actually, fun fact for you, Shenyang here was the birthplace of the Qing Dynasty. In the early 1600s, Manchurian forces from northeastern China occupied Shenyang and made it the Manchurian capital. We they changed the city's name from Shenyang to Mukden and they built an imperial palace here. You can see it behind me here. A few decades later in 1644, the Manchus crossed the Great Wall and moved their base of operations from Shenyang to Beijing. Okay, let's get our geography hats on. Here is a big map of China, and Shenyang is located right... Uh, oh no, I ripped my map! <laughs> Shenyang is right here, in the top northeast section of China. So Shenyang here actually falls in a broader region of China known as Dongbei, and the characters Dongbei literally mean northeast. So as you can probably deduce, we're in the far northeast of China. <laughs> this Dongbei region is made up of three provinces. You've got Heilongjiang at the top, then Jilin here, and then Liaoning. Shenyang is the capital of Liaoning, and it's also the biggest city by population in Dongbei. Dongbei, you're from a I actually have been to Dongbei before, but it was during the summer and everyone kept telling me, why are you here in summer? You need to come back in winter. There's more to do. It's more beautiful, blah, blah, blah. So here I am. And today is only my first day of my Dongbei adventure. In the following videos, I'm going to be making my way through the three provinces of Dongbei from south to north and experience the temperatures getting lower and lower. Okay, I don't need telling twice. Dongbei has some of my favorite food from all over China. So for my first meal in Dongbei, I'm going to start things off with a bang. Dumplings are an absolute Dongbei classic. They're thick skin and in my opinion, best served with a healthy dose of vinegar. This restaurant here actually has 180 years of dumpling making history. Actually, the dumplings that I've ordered today, this is their specialty, and they've been made this way with this exact recipe for over 100 years. <laughs> this has been an awesome first day in Dongbei. I'm so looking forward to this adventure ahead. Tomorrow, I'm actually heading to a new city in a new province, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.